fancy him in a, with an escape bars, but fancy doesn't need it. His pocket presence is phenomenal. So he's going to stand in there with Eli Manning using that hot route master. He's going to have some of the best route combinations you'll see. Let's get to the game. We are ready to get this first semi-final underway. Reminder, this is double elimination, so these two players need four wins to get to the Madden Bowl. Fancy taking on Justin and TD. As we mentioned, these guys, they are friends. They lab with each other. And we're talking with these guys. They say a lot. It's actually harder playing against your lab mates because there's no tricks in the bag. As uh, Second and two, uh, it's actually uh, a little passing offense from Justin. Uh, a mix up from what he usually does which is pounding the rock. Yeah, he's going to need to be able to mix in those passes, though. And the thing that a lot of viewers don't know is, uh, obviously, Fancy is the big favorite here. He has all that momentum. But Justin actually beat Fancy in the online portion of the LCQ. So Justin might have the momentum here in this matchup. First down and 10 for Justin, representing those New England Patriots. He's a Northeast guy, living uh, originally from Providence, Rhode Island. As that's a first down, a nice pass to the right side, utilizing that low ball to be able to pick up the first down. He's going to hurry back to the line in that three tight end set. Watch out for Tyree Kill, wide left, Bo Jackson in the backfield for Eli Manning. Hot route master and identifier on Eli as he drops back to pass, looking right side. And there are about three blue jerseys over there, TD. Unfortunately, the blue jerseys, it's not the team that T Justin should be throwing to. Yeah, very risky pass right there by Justin. And as you can see, he's in this wing-tight formation. He only has that one receiver, Tyreek Hill. He's got two good tight ends in uh, George Kill and Evan Ingram. He also has Franco Harris, who he just used in motion in that 96 overall Bo Jackson. So he really uh, built his team around this under center, these single-back wing-tight heavy formations. Driving back on second and 10 is Eli Manning. And Throws it over there, that one's picked off, we're going the other way, Adrian Amos with the pick, and just like that early game, Fancy with a quick turnover. Yeah, big defensive stand already, and you know, to me, when we talked to Justin, you know, he said uh, the nerves played a little part in his first live event, he said he was going to be more relaxed here online, but just a bad read right there, I mean, even if that spy wasn't there, it was kind of covered in man-to-man -man coverage by Fancy, and the, he's able to make a nice pick with the spy, and Fancy, that's the thing you want in competitive Madden, if you can get off the field on that first drive, it just does so much for you, uh, for your momentum going forward. Well, it's safe to say, TD, as the guys mentioned uh, in the beginning of the broadcast, I would put Fancy right now as possibly the the hottest player in terms of how well he is playing over the last three months in the entire Madden community. Yeah, I would definitely agree. I mean, this is a kid that's been on a tear, on a roll, all the Friday night footballs. And if you guys are a fan of offensive football, tune in and watch Fancy play offense. This guy has some of the best route combinations, like we said. He knows how to use spacing. He audibles to different formations. He hits the seams. You're going to see a lot of slants, posts, uh, which really stress the user, as well as some flat routes that he can swerve. So he's one of the best offensive players we have. No, he did not skimp out on the lineup. You look at those wide receivers, Tyreek Hill, Hollywood Brown, Marvin Harrison, Josh Cribbs. Speed is the name of the game. And, oh, yeah, he's just got a 2,000-yard rusher on the left hip of Eli Manning and Chris Johnson. First and 10 for Fancy as Manning drops back to pass. Rolling left, throwing over the middle of the field. That is Cribbs with a catch, but a good hit to pry that one free. Nice defense from Justin. Yeah, and you'll see Fancy coming out in that gun tight slots weak, but he has the strong slot package, and what that allows him to do is get four receivers on the field, so he has no tight end on his roster. And then he's going to audible around from that tight. As you can see here, he goes to the trips tight end. And dropping back on second and ten, looking left side. That's Chris Johnson with the catch. And, and talking with Fancy before the tournament, he said he wanted the shout-out ghost for inspiring him to switch schemes and run that tight slots week in the middle of the LCQ leaderboard. So not only are these guys relying on the lab partners, they're relying on other great players in the Madden community as Johnson will pick up that first down. Have you ever heard of anything like that, TD? Switching schemes in the middle of leaderboards. Yeah, that's a very uh, bold move by Fancy, but, you know, it's paid off for him. He's looked great in this gun tight slots. We know we saw Ghost kind of bring it onto the scene early in the year. Uh, it's just a lot of things you can do. Compressed formation is always very good in Madden, and as you'll see here, he's going to go to the air. He loves these posts, these corner routes with some motion flats, some motion slants, so a lot of things he can go to in his arsenal. Pressure brought by Justin, though, and down goes Manning. First sack of the game. That's just a guy by the name of Joey Bosa. The L.A. Charger gets the first sack. 
Yeah, great defense in that 1-4-6. And the thing is, these guys know each other so well, like we talked about. So, to, you know, to get an advantage in this game, they're really going to have to do something that uh, is kind of out of the box that maybe they haven't done or, or just do something that their opponent hasn't seen because these guys play each other so much. And Justin looked like he's going to fake the heat here. Stepping up, taking off with Eli Manning. Yeah, Eli, uh, there are a lot of great quarterbacks in this game known for their scrambling abilities, the Lamar Jacksons, the Michael Vicks. Uh, TD, Eli Manning doesn't really come up on that list. No, definitely not. But he has one of the quickest uh, releases in this game. He also is not super high on cap. Uh, you can put that hot route master ability on him. That's why a lot of these guys are going to him. <laughs> That Eli Manning only 40 cap. It's very affordable. It's on third and 13. How about the pressure one more time? Starla Tulele up the middle. Yeah, brings the heat again. Did a great job using that corner route. That's where Fancy was looking. A little corner flat combo. He likes to lowball those corner routes. But uh, Justin with phenomenal defense bringing the heat. And we got a, we got a, we got a uh, stalemate here. You know, these guys know each other so well. Could be a low scoring game we're in store for. Yeah, you know, talking with Justin coming into this one, 19 years old, the youngest player in the entire tournament, uh, he said his keys for success were creating turnovers and controlling the clock uh, and able to get a punt right there from Fancy, as good as he is on offense. That's got to feel like a turnover in its own as a throw right side, easy little slant route to pick up some yards. Yeah, it goes with that Franco Harris little motioned out slant. And we talked to Fancy, and he said this nickel 3-3-5 wide defense was going to be very important for him. You know, it kind of came on the end of the year here as one of the meta run defenses. He's got Taylor Mays right there. Nice tackle. Yeah, how about the run defense on the right side for Fancy stuffing up Bo Jackson. We're at the end of one. It's a stalemate. 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, it's been all defense early in this game. Yeah, it has. Like we said, these guys know each other so well, and that 3-3-5 wide defense, like, we, like I was just talking about, really came on the end of the year here as some good run defense. You know, you put your safeties in the spies. They play phenomenal run defense, and then you use her uh, with your middle linebacker, which uh, Fancy has Taylor Mays there, who was one of the best users in Madden history. I mean, this guy has speed, height, size, hit power. So let's see what he can do. He's going to go to the air here. Third and one, he is going to the air. It's a little curl route right side. That's Franco Harris with the catch to the 40-yard line. So far early in this game, I mean, this is a guy who was running the ball 58% of the time. He's certainly been airing it out. We'll see if Bo Jackson maybe gets a little bit involved on this drive as he has been throwing it. But unfortunately for Justin, he threw an interception on that first drive. This one, a stretch run for Bo Jackson. But once again, great run defense from Fancy. Yeah, great run defense. I think the, mo the thing about Fancy, he's very underrated on defense. I mean, everyone knows he's a prolific passer, but this guy was first in defense in, in all of our final finalists here in the LCQ, number one in total defense. So this is a guy that really is underrated on defense. You know, he likes to bring a lot of heat, but he can also make some adjustments, and that's underrated about his game. Second and 11, Manning dropping back, rolling left side. He'll throw over the middle of the field. So far, this has been the route that has worked for Justin. It's been Franco Harris, just a simple little curl route. Yeah, going to that mesh uh, concept out of the single back wing tight. He does kind of he kind of goes to the inside, then stops in the middle of the field. And you know, with his TNC guys, and we'll see with J Wall in our next game. I mean, they love these curl routes. They love these hitch routes. I call J Wall, you know, the hitch master, the curl master. And as you can see, Justin using it here in the single back formation. Dropping back on third and two, looking right side of the flat. This one caught by George Kittle. And you talk about the build of Justin's team. Only one real wide receiver with Tyree Kill, but you have guys like Franco Harris, George Kittle, and Evan Ingram. They're going to be carrying the load in the passing game. Yeah, and it's really difficult to stop. When you're in these power run formations and you have Bo Jackson, you're expecting the run, and then you can kind of throw these corner outs, these curls, these flats to these uh, phenomenal tight ends. It really makes it difficult on defense to predict what's coming. As this time, Bo Jackson finally, I think that's the first run we've seen Bo Jackson really have some room to run. He'll pick up six to the outside, and I mean, no doubt, Bo Jackson, TD, he's been in this game uh, since all the way back in, what, October, November. He's been a stalwart of the Ultimate Team. Oh, yeah, I used Bo Jackson back in club series beginning of the year in October. So, yeah, he's been one of the biggest cards of the year. I love the way Justin is playing offense right here. He's, he's not rushing anything. He's taking his time. He's throwing underneath routes, and he gets a, but Fancy gets a huge sack right there. Yeah, I was, I was looking at Fancy's defense, wondering how he'd match up 
against this sort of power run formation. He doesn't really have linebackers, Fred Warner and Jerome Baker uh, in the middle, but he, he spent a lot of cap on these corners. Marshawn Lattimore, Denzel Ward, Tracy Porter. Uh, and so far, those guys have been able to stuff up this run game as we've hit the two-minute warning. This game moving quickly because he's been able to hold Bo Jackson even with maybe a lighter defense than you'd expect. Yeah, he does have those two inside stuff abilities on the D-line, as you can see, his two DNs right there, and that really helps a lot. It's one of the best abilities in the game versus the run, and I think Justin recognizes that. That's why he's been trying to go to the air a little bit more than usual. Carlos Dunlap and Daniil Hunter on the line. Third down, a big third down here with only two minutes left in the half. We haven't even seen a touchdown in this tournament any points whatsoever. Third and eight, looking over the middle of the field. That's picked off by Taylor Mays. The Justin with a little fist pump because he knew that he made a mistake. He can't believe that he's going to give up the first touchdown on the defensive side of the ball. Fancy to the house. There goes that man we were just talking about, Taylor Mays, 6'4", 95-plus speed, one of the best users in Madden, and Fancy with a huge pick six gets the first points on the board. And you can see the head shake from Justin. He knows that was a crucial mistake. It was scoreless. He had made no mistakes so far. Instead, you give up a pick six as that will just trickle into the end zone uh, for a touchback. Uh, major, major mistake from Justin throwing that pick six to Taylor Mays as we take a look at our Snickers replay. TD, what do you see here? Yeah, Taylor Mays in that hook zone over the middle, and he just clicks on, cuts off that deep dig route, and gets a big pick six to get the momentum in his favor. He's rolling out, has the post route across the field, but he waited a little too long. George Kittle still made a play. Right now, it feels like Justin's a little bit on tilt. Even though he's in his own house, there's no pressure in the studio, he's still feeling the pressure. Yeah, he's playing real reckless right now. I mean, I don't think he's used to passing the ball this much. He's got to stick to his game plan. The, the last drive, he was, you know, throwing underneath, throwing those core routes, a couple flat routes, drags. He's got to get back to that a little bit. He's trying to force too many things, and uh, Fancy's all over it in this man-to-man 3-3-5 -man, uh, wide defense. Second down to 10, Manning dropping back. Good uh, pressure picked up nicely as that's a little in route to Tyreek Hill. First time we've gotten here, Tyreek Hill really getting involved with the offense, and he picks up a good chunk of yards. And gets Justin moving to the 47-yard line. Yeah, Fancy went to zone defense right there. Justin recognized it, got that deep dig, which he tried to get on the last drive, and it was picked off. Taylor Mays nowhere near that one. Nice first down. And now Justin, the clock is against him. He's got two timeouts, but he's got to get moving a little bit. There's Eli dropping back. Rolling right, waiting, looking, and he'll throw this one away. Maybe the first really smart throw we've seen from Justin TD because on pass plays, he might have tried to force that one and turn the ball over. Yeah, I don't love the route combination there. He had a post route going into the comeback route. Uh, not really a good uh, high-low read there. See what he goes to here. I like to see him go to some drags, go into the corner routes again. That's what he's going to do. He had the drag underneath. <laughs> Throws it over to Ingram, pops up off his hands, is picked up by Jerome Baker. A bad bounce for Justin. The third interception for Fancy's defense. Even though it's only 7 0, he's in firm control. Yeah, Nick, I don't know what that was. He had the drag right away off the jump. He waited way too long, tried to playmake him up the field, and just a ball you cannot throw in that situation. Fancy all over it. And Justin is playing a little bit nervous, it seems, on offense. He's got to control himself, settle down a little bit. Nice pressure off the edge. That was Tracy Porter uh, talking to Fancy, asking sort of what was, what do you think was one of the keys? How did TNC got all four guys here? He said that addition of the nickel 335 wide as a run defense to help to stand out as passers. And uh, they're just preparing for every scheme they could have faced. It's really all about preparation for the TNC crew, and that's why they're all here. Left side, that's Hollywood Brown, and you got to have somebody on Hollywood Brown. Touchdown for Fancy. He opens up a two-score lead. Hollywood Brown, 99 speed. What a playmaker by Fancy. Had him on that slant route. Playmaker up the field, and there was just no one there for Justin. That was the easiest touchdown Fancy could ask for. Yeah, listen, TD, I, I'm, I'm, there's a reason why I'm in the booth. Uh, but uh, as somebody watching this game, that read to Hollywood Brown is, is one that even I could make. <laughs> Yeah, but Nick, you got to have a little bit of stick skill because he had that playmaker up the field. And great job right there by Fancy. Fancy with the big touchdown. 
As we take a look one more time, Eli Manning. Just an absolute laser with the playmaker to Hollywood Brown. You can forget about it when Hollywood Brown is in open space. And as this clock winds down, Justin seems comfortable, TD, to go to halftime and maybe take a deep breath and get at his get his bearings about him. He takes a timeout there, but I, I don't know. It, it doesn't feel like he's comfortable playing in this game. Yeah, Justin in a real tough spot. Fancy up 14 and does get the ball at half. I mean, the momentum is all on Fancy's side. If you're Justin, you just want to try to break a run here if you can. He goes to a counter run and just nothing doing. I don't know. How, uh, TD, how many counter runs have we seen uh, this year in the MCS? I, that might be the first. Yeah, very surprising call. I think he's just trying to catch Fancy off guard a little bit. I mean, I don't really understand. It looks like he's going to go to a stretch here, last play of the first half. Can Bo Jackson find the end zone and put Justin on the board? Cuts it inside. Uh, no, no, he cannot. He will be stuffed for no game as we have hit halftime in the LCQ. Last chance for these TNC brothers, and right now it has been all fancy. 14 to nothing. Three first half interceptions have been the doom of Justin, but there's still plenty of time left to get back in this game. What a what a first half for Fancy TD. I mean, this was this was an impressive. We talked about how good Fancy's defense has been and he proved it. Yeah, he really did. Like I said, I think he's very underrated on the defensive side of the ball. He knows what Justin wants to do coming in this game and that 3-3-5 wide has been phenomenal for him on defense. On the flip side, Justin I mean, if there's one benefit, if there's one positive, a little bit of a silver lining, TD, it is that Justin has thrown three interceptions. He's still only down two scores very much in this game. Yeah, he's got to get the run game going. I mean, that's what got him to the dance. You know, the most prolific runner in this tournament, that's what he bases his offense around. That's why he got a Bo Jackson. He's got to really get that going if he wants a chance in this game. Well, we got a full half of action left to go. Let's head back inside Pizza Hut Stadium for the second half of this loser semifinal. And on first down, how about a big run for CJ2K picking up 16. Yeah, in my notes I had one of the most uh, important uh, aspects for Fanti's game is this inside zone out of this uh, tight slot. So it really can work versus the 1-4-6. He has it to the running back on the right side with a righty quarterback. That's where you want it. They get a quicker handoff, and he can, uh, got a huge gain right there on that inside zone. First and 10 for Fancy, 14-0 lead. Can he extend it? Manning stepping up, Manning sitting down, pressure up the middle from Jerome Baker. And, you know, talking with Justin TD, he said that he's not only been labbing with TNC, he labbed with Master Gamer, who had the self-proclaimed best run defense in the world during the club championships. I mean, he is one of those minds that you think is a great asset to somebody as young as Justin. Oh, yeah, Matt, one of the biggest labbers we have. This guy finds a lot of different glitches, a lot of different concepts in the game. So he's definitely a guy you want on your side when you're preparing for a tournament like this. A little drag route to Tyree Kill. Picking up some of that sack back and, and a little more. Third and six upcoming. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us. A uh, slight delay to today for the stream, but we know you guys have been excited for this tournament. We appreciate all of you hanging out with us. Nick Mazesco and Tyler Davis here. This is our first game of the day. These guys need four wins in this double elimination format to make it to the Madden Bowl. $220,000 on the line in that Madden Bowl. Big opportunity for the TNC crew, as we've mentioned, and we will continue to mention all four players on the Xbox side in the same crew. They're all lab partners. Third and six. Why pressure off the edge. That? Manning Why gets it to, to Harrison. That? A little They're hurdle, and it looks like he's going to pick up enough for the first down. That's why you spend some money on the former Indianapolis Colt. Justin's really played good enough defense in this game. He got an unfortunate break there. It's just been his offense. Like, on defense, he's doing good enough where he could win the game. It's just when he's on offensive side of the ball, he's had three picks, and that's what's really uh, hurting him right now. But an unfortunate break there, and Fancy gets a big first down. Now well, there's another screamer off the edge. This time it's Tracy Porter with his second sack of the game. So even though these guys sort of know what they're going to be running, know what defense they're going to be running, TD, Justin able to get some pressure on him. He just needs to find a way to get the ball back. Yeah, he does. He's got to get off the field on this set of downs here. Clock ticking down, getting close to the end of the third. Uh, he's really got to get off the field. He needs to maybe cause a turnover. Look for him to bring the heat again and try to lurk something over the middle. Second and 15 in that gun tight slots. 
Chris Johnson in the backfield. Eli Manning, the recently retired oh, New York Giant. Play. Throw down the middle. That's Marvin Harrison just over the outstretched arms, outstretched arms of the defender. And Marvin Harrison comes down with it. It's a first down for Fancy, who continues rolling offensively. <laughs> just a second late right there for Justin. Goes to that crossing row, and Fancy threw it fast up the middle of the field where Justin had no defenders. He had that Deion Sanders there, but just a little late. And now Fancy, if you're Fancy, you want to use some clock here. You're perfectly fine with kicking three, going up three possessions. So you just want to get out of the third quarter right now. Minute 24 and counting in the third quarter. As it's Eli Manning going back to work. The Ole Miss running Rebel. Manning hands it to Chris Johnson. CJ 2K trying to find some tough yards up the middle. They'll give him two. Yeah, Fancy only has three carries for 20 yards. I'd like to see him go to these inside zones a little bit more. I think he can kind of pop in the middle versus that 1-4-6. Um, we saw the, the earlier one in the in the gun tight slots. We broke that inside zone. So I think we're going to see him go to that more here. Um, he might go down to some I-form close, I-form close slot. Like we said, he's in that Oakland playbook, and we know how good it is. It's been the meta playbook all year. It has, as we've seen, so many good shotguns, as well as all these under center heavy formations. This game on pace to be the lowest scoring game in LCQ history. The previous record, 30 total points scored between some series and free the Penguins last year. They've only got 14 on the board right now. Will they find some more? Second down and eight. It's Chris Johnson, left side. No room to run. The run defense has been pretty good for Justin. Yeah, it has. Interesting to point out there that because end of the year, you usually see more high-scoring games. We're in April now. These kids, these guys have figured out, you know, how the game works. Uh, usually we see more high-scoring, which we saw last year in the LCQ. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to see more in the second game. 14 nothing. The score in this one, only one quarter left. TD, this feels like, I mean, it almost feels like Fancy's up 28 or 35 nothing. How well he has played and how dominant he has been so far. Yeah, especially in this third quarter, he's done what he needed to do. Just run this clock, get out of this game. He's got that 14-point lead, got the ball at half. So he's gonna he got out of the hit, out of this third quarter, and he should be up at least three possessions. It's safe to say for Justin, he needs a turnover at this point. He can't give up any more points. There's only five minutes left in the game. Yeah, he needs a fumble badly. I, I feel like Fancy's not gonna go to the air, so he's gonna have to try to force a fumble on that Chris Johnson any way he can. He's got to get one. Well, folks, we only got one quarter left. Time to put those fours up in the chat. It's time for the fourth quarter, and it's presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh, no, no, don't try to This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this Creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and Creamy Snickers. Well, it's been nothing but smooth for Fancy so far. Up 14-0, has forced three turnovers on his TNC crewmate, Justin. Oh, and he's got the ball at the 29-yard line. I formation, CJ2K at the top of the eye. Two wide, split out wide left. Now sending one in motion to the right side. As it's going to be Manning handing the ball to Chris Johnson. Gets outside the tackles. Oh, a little stop and go. A little bit of stick shown there from Fancy. Yeah, nice stick work, and I think Fancy's going to take his three here. So if you're Justin, that's kind of what you wanted. I mean, obviously, it's unfortunate that he took the whole third quarter, but, you know, there's still four and a half minutes to go. You're going to be down three possessions, so he's going to have to get going fast. But good drive by Fancy. He did his job. He goes up three possessions, and he used a lot of that clock. So he's going to use this entire play clock. TD, I, I know this is a, a common strategy to come out in a base defense on fourth and short because you never know when the fake is coming, something like that. But it surprises me uh, as this kick is up and it is good, 17-0. It surprised me that Justin didn't come out to try to block this field goal because he's now down three scores. Great point because he has his back, he has his punter as the holder, uh, Johnny Hecker, who I don't think has a lot of speed to get to the outside if he ran some type of fake. Maybe Justin knows something about Fancy that we don't, obviously, because they're they're so close. But yeah, you'd like to see him come out and field goal block and give himself a chance at that block. Well, we asked uh, talking with Justin before this. We asked him, you know, what he's been doing during this quarantine. He said he's doing his schoolwork, a student at Tulane uh, in the New Orleans area. 
occasionally seeing some friends, but he said he was really lucky. He was blessed to be able to make a run and qualify for LCQs. He said otherwise, I'd be bored. Throwing right side. Ah, don't get that bored. His fans is going to pick this one off. Put your floaties on. We got ourselves a flood here in the loser semifinals. It is all fancy. Put your GGs in the chat. That'll do it. Just just has no answer when he needs to pass the ball. Fancy's just been all over him on, on this defense. And wow, what a dominant performance by Fancy. And, and a lot of people saw this coming. You know, one of the favorites coming in. Uh, we saw on these Twitter polls how Fancy dominated on who's going to win this Xbox side. And he's looked great in this first game. 24 to nothing. With just over four minutes left, you never know what can happen in the game of Madden as we take a look at this one more time. TD, this is just another one of those, it's just great stick work uh, from, from Fancy, able to jump these routes so quickly, that quick click on has been causing headaches for Justin. Yeah, really just nothing open on that play, too. If you look at that replay, I mean, there was just nothing open. Fancy knows every route that Justin wants to go to out of that wing tight, and he's been all over it, uh, making great adjustments. A couple flat zones out there for the corner, uh, for the drags, and he, he guarded the corner out. So just, just great defense by Fancy, and it continues. With 3.20 to go. TD, I, I will say, even though that we've been, everybody here at home, all the players at home, uh, it's been awesome because we've been able to to get to know these guys with some conversations on Twitter, talking on the phone. Uh, and, and, you know, it, it's funny. You, you talk about the crews in Madden, the TNCs, the 818s, uh, the EMBs. Looking at this TNC crew, to me, it feels like these guys are all incredibly similar. They think the same way. They, uh, I mean, you almost start to think they look the same way. It, it just seems like a crew that is really meshed into one. Yeah, they really know how to play offense on the game. That's the thing that points out to me the most. I mean, we're going to see with J-Wall next, his, the spacing he uses, these route combos like we talked about, they're just really good. They put the hours in. I mean, they lap uh, more than anyone I know. Uh, they're very close. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's paid off. Look at <laughs> This whole bracket on the Xbox side of the LCQ is all guys from that TNC crew. That's a, just a great accomplishment in itself. Does it surprise you that Justin has gone away? I mean, again, I'm sure he's thinking with 2020 hindsight. He's disappointed. He's gone away from those hitch routes, that those curl routes over the middle that seem to have been very successful. Yeah, that one drive he had, he looked pretty good. You know, he's going underneath with some drags, some curls. Those are nice wheel route there, though, to Franco Harris. Oh. Well, he had that one in the pocket. Hey, hey, TD, maybe break that bad boy out. How about the former Pittsburgh Steeler fight in the end zone? He looked like a wide receiver out there, even though he was listed as a fullback. Yeah, should have brought that out earlier. Nice click on right there to swerve that wheel route. Going to go for two, try to give himself a chance and make it a three pos or two possession game. But he falls. Ooh, he falls short. Bo, roll. Bo, roll a little more. Keep rolling, Bo. Get there. Get there. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. He needed that two-point conversion. He still had his three timeouts, but just too much defense by Fancy. A little too late for Justin. And listen, it, it's his first Madden MCS appearance, his first major appearance, and, you know, there's something to be said. He put points on the board. Didn't get skunked in his first appearance. That means something. Yeah, I mean, he didn't look bad, especially on defensive side of the ball. His just offense wasn't enough. Those three picks uh, really cost him in that first half. He came out a little nervous on his first drive, and he just could never uh, get back into the game. It's fancy he'll run it outside. First time out taken by Justin. Uh, TD, we did ask Justin, you know, these guys have been playing Madden for so long. What, what are your three favorite Mutt items of all time? He, he gave us... Uh, the Mutt 25 Golden Ticket Calvin, the Mutt 20 Bo Jackson, the one he's, he's got today, and the Mutt 25 uh, Team of the Week Cam Newton. I mean, you could tell he loves the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, definitely. Those are three good cards to have. Calvin Johnson, one of the best cards every year. Bo Jackson, we already know. Yeah, I mean, I, those are three of the best cards you'll see in Madden. He said that that Cam Newton, that Mutt 25, it was, it was called the Fantasy Football Cam Newton, used to be the, that now is known as the Team of the Week. He said, this dude was a budget beast for my 12-year-old broke self. I mean, you got to love the budget players. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the budget players are huge, too. Like Troy Apke every year is a goon. Uh, Tavarius Moore, those budget beasts in this. I wonder what team Cam Newton's also going to go to, Nick. What do you think about that? <sighs> Don't. 
I mean, listen, he has had his his run of injuries and problems in Carolina, but he's still somebody I don't think anybody wants to face. Um, it's, once this draft settles out, we'll get to see a better landscape. Uh, as uh, he'll get a stop, Justin, with uh, some good defense there, and he'll get the ball back. I mean, listen, there's a minute three left. He only has one timeout, and he's down 18 points, TD. But the game technically not over. Nick, the game is over. The fat lady has sung. Fancy's going to move on. Fancy, honestly, he's really had an impressive year. He came in seventh in the Madden Classic. He really built his name this year. This is a guy that streams a lot on Twitch. And, you know, he's going to have a chance now. He's Like we said, he's the, one of the favorites to come out of this Xbox bracket. He's going to have to get by J-Wall. He's going to have to get by D-Croft twice. But, I mean, he looks really good on both sides of the ball. Listen, you may say the fat lady is saying it, but I, I checked. She's not on stage yet. She's just backstage doing her vocal exercises. She's ready to come out, but there's still 51 seconds left, and you never know what will happen in the game of John Madden football. First and 10 for Justin. He's been in this single back wing type formation, bringing Hill in motion as Manning drops back, rolling right all the time in the world. And nowhere to go. He'll find Evan Ingram up the middle. It's a nice 14 yards. Going to need more than that. Justin's had a good year too. I want to point out, you know, we want to give him credit. He kind of came onto the scene here at the end. It was like user was saying in the intro. It was a gauntlet to make this final four on the Xbox side. So, uh, you know, Justin's going to come up short here today, but uh, it's an accomplishment to get this far. People know who he is now. So there's a lot of momentum he can build going into Madden 21. And you see the head shake from Justin. He knows that this one's over. If there's any consolation, it's the fact that. He did lose to one of his TNC brethren. Fancy will take this one in a dominant, dominant performance here in the loser's semifinal, and he will take it 24-17.